Hello, welcome back to our chapter one, Introduction to the World of Forensic Accounting lecture. We are going to cover learning objective five, recognize major providers of forensic accounting certification and continuing education. The AICPA estimates that 25,000 CPAs currently provide forensic accounting services. This group of specialized practitioners is expected to increase in size as demand for these services continue to grow. In a 2011 AICPA member survey, the vast majority of respondents, 79%, expect a greater demand for forensic accounting services in the next two to five years. Of these respondents, 67% attributed this growth to economic damage calculations. 56% was to marital disputes, and 54% was towards fraud investigations. The survey confirmed that CPAs represent the vast majority, 94% of forensic experts hired. Strong demand for forensic accounting services implies a need for practitioners with specialized education and training. So recognizing this need, the American Association of Accountants, the American Accounting Association, AAA, American Accounting Association, has recently created the Forensic and Investigative Accounting section, of which I'm a member of, which is dedicated to the continued improvement of forensic accounting research and education. A number of professional organizations offer specialized forensic certifications, continuing education, and network opportunities. So the three more predominant are here in this table. So you see the AICPA, you see the ACFE, and you see the NACVA. I am a member of the AICPA and the ACFE. So the AICPA's Forensic Evaluation Services section offers two forensic accounting credentials the Certified in Financial Forensics, CFF, which I am a credential holder, and the Accredited in Business Valuation Credential, ABV. So if you want to become a CFF or an ABV, you have to have a CPA, and then you must pass the CFF exam or the ABV exam, and you have to meet the minimum educational requirements. <laughs> 